As we move into the dance, which is the nickname given to our lives post-curve, the public, your customers and prospects, they'll judge you by your attention to safety. Following these steps and promoting what you are doing will show your customers that you are very professional. You know, you're very attentive to detail and someone that they might like to do business with. And then they might brag about how responsible your business is to 13.2 of their friends. I wanted to share with you a great document the Halifax Chamber of Commerce provided members recently on preparing to reopen so these are five ways to prepare. Number one, set up a COVID-19 task force. Setting up a team of two to five people will give you more perspectives and help your organization think more comprehensively about the plan. Obviously, solopreneurs are a one-person team. This task force will create a prevention plan and also ensure that staff are following the plan. The task force will also be mindful of all new info being disseminated by the government. Number two, ensure workplace safety. Put signage up everywhere to keep staff reminded, keep the workplace stocked up with personal protective equipment, and it might be a good idea to get a professional cleaner in. Create an employee assessment tool for employees to go through. You can also consider checklists in higher traffic areas like you see in gas station bathrooms prior to starting your shifts. This will keep staff and yourself accountable to the cleaning initiative. Number three, prepare your employees by introducing them to the employment assessment tool that you've just created. Have a protocol for them to follow and one person to report to in the event they start to have symptoms or come into contact with a symptomatic person. Give the staff a run through of proper hygiene practices and it might seem obvious but there's a lot of things we may not be thinking about as much because we've been home now for so long and certainly advise staff not to share equipment. Number four, prepare your customers. Post guidelines at entrances with regards to your expectations. Downsize or limit your store or office's capacity. Provide a place for customers to wash their hands or provide hand sanitizer, direct flow of traffic with tape on the floor or ground, communicate these expectations to clients through your website or mail outs. Number five, prepare for transactions. Make sure registers are six feet apart, encourage card and taps or other forms of contactless payment, install plexiglass screens and where practical, consider delivery, take out curbside, etc. The above link is an example of how to communicate your business's protocols. Stay safe guys.